This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, January 28th, 2022. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Just a quick preview for the service this Friday. Again, while we're in the midst of this Omicron wave, that looks like it might be turning the corner, but hasn't quite yet. Um, we're going to continue to encourage you to participate online if you are able. Um, if that is not an option for you, the, the building will be open if you want to come on Sunday morning. Um, we just ask that you keep a mask on and, uh, and that you be vaccinated if you take that option. The service on Sunday is sort of the last of a, a trilogy, really, of, um, of services focusing on our commitments to justice in the world. And in this particular one, we're really going to st we're really going to to bring our attention to the ongoing climate crisis. I'm going to start um, that reflection just by this. There was a piece in the Atlantic by Emma Maris this week that that began where many of us are here. And she writes, "Usually, a story like this starts with a quick roundup of alarming statistics." and a reminder of all the latest climate disasters. Heat domes, floods, hurricanes, etc. I'm going to skip that part. Most of us get it already. We understand with our rational minds that the climate is changing, and we feel that it is changing in the deepest pit of our gut, where dread and fury live. I think this is a really animating question for us right now. In some ways, the last couple of years have been consumed by the pandemic, but in other ways, the pandemic is simply a, a long-term crisis like climate change on fast forward. It requires the same kind of collective action, the same kind of combination of reflection, individual action, and big picture action that climate change also does. And the poor, response of institutions to the pandemic for a lot of us has led to despair around climate change. And so we're going to talk about that on Sunday. We're going to talk about what it means to, to be intentional and to be thoughtful and grounded in this moment and how we might as a congregation embrace this as a priority. Anyway, I'll see you then, um, or more accurately, I will see your names on the live stream and I will wave at you from, uh, from the sanctuary. Until then, have a great weekend uh, and be well.